Welcome back to another John Deere 110 video. Uh, this is kind of a part two of the plow video. So last time what we did is we mounted the plow to the tractor uh, to make sure it works and it does. Uh, so we did that. Now uh, what I want to do is kind of refurbish the plow a little bit. Um, so what I want to do is take the yellow section off here at the front of the blade, uh, repaint it, fix it up a little bit. Um, this portion here I'm going to leave as it is, I'm not going to do anything to it, it looks fine. I'm still waiting for a couple of components for this uh, section, the bearings, a couple of pins, a couple of other uh, bolts and washers, uh, just to make sure that the um, plow is going to go up and down nice and smooth. Now I'm still um, getting those, hopefully by the time I finish refurbishing the front, those will come in and uh, we can kind of put it all together by the end of this video. So to take the front section off this blade, what we gotta do is uh, take this pin out right here. It's held in by a couple of pins. One is here. And also one on the top. You probably can't see it. It should be right there. So take those two out, this slides out, and then the front section, front yellow section uh, comes apart. So we're gonna take it down, sand it, um, also, we need to fix a couple of things on it. One thing is, as you see here, this section is kind of uh, pushed in a little bit this way. Somebody must have, must have banged this on something and kind of bent it in a little bit, but it's not a big deal. This is just the front um, section here. So all we have to do is push this out a little bit and it's gonna look nice and straight. It's not structural or anything, the plug works fine, uh, but it's just, it would look nicer. Also, what I need to get is a couple of shoes for it. It's those things that go right here. It's a little bolt with a round shoe on the bottom. What that does, you adjust that so that um, it, so that the blade is kind of, once, once you put the plow down, the blade is above the ground, maybe eight to an inch, quarter of an inch, and the plow rides on the shoes. Kind of makes the blade not wear uh, as much. That's what those are for. They're not here, I'm gonna have to get a couple of those. Also, the blade up front here, right there, uh, is a bit worn out. As you can kind of see, the edges are worn out. So I'm gonna take it off, measure it, and get a new piece of metal, drill the mounting holes, and kind of replace it, right? And take that one off. I think those are the only three things I have to do to it besides painting it um, to make it look nice. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I did a little bit of work off camera. So what I did is I took the I took the plow off by these um, braces here, and what I did is I stood it on its side like this, so it's uh, so it's kind of standing up straight. It's easier to work on the pins. So what I did is I took one of these out. I took the other one out also, uh, but. Uh, one of them one of them came out a hole and one of them broke but that's okay i can get a new one i also started to uh, remove the rod as you see it is rusty so it's um it's a bit of a pain but let's keep doing it i'm gonna put some of the wd-40 on the rod hopefully slides easier with the stuff on there Basically, just kind of gotta hammer this out. I'm gonna sand down this uh, rod a little bit. It might make it uh, slide out easier. It's probably never, rem never removed before. Lots of rust on there. Yeah. Instead of this short bolt, I got a longer rod that I'm going to use to push the rest of it out. Let's see how it goes. Okay, 
we go. All right, there's the rod. Lots of rust on it. So, didn't want to come out easy, but came out. Now we can remove this section. Now clean that up. Clean this up, sand it down. It'll look good. I'm gonna put this this section back on the tractor. I might wipe it off. I'll wipe it off a little bit and put it back. All right, nice and clean. Looks good. Let's put it back on the on the bracket. So this looks good for now. Okay. I'm just gonna put that on there like that. I'm not gonna tighten it or anything because that layer but anyway all right so we got that on there we got the blade over there it's nice and free now uh, we can sand it down replace the components and um, put it back together okay so let's now uh, try and take this um, uh, front blade apart I guess first uh, let's try and take the bolts off uh, nuts and bolts that hold the blade in place So that one broke. We might have to uh, heat these up a bit. So let's do that. Yep, that one broke too. Yep, that one too. Actually, that one's gonna come off, it looks like. This one, as you see, as the blade was wearing down, kind of wore off half of the half of this nut. So that's not gonna come off easy. to buy a new blade because the holes on on this blade are square I was thinking of actually making this blade but I don't know how to make square holes unless there's a there's a tool you can buy for that like if you drill a hole round hole with a, with a bit can you use some kind of tool to kind of expand and make the whole square. Maybe there's a tool for that. 
if there is maybe I'll try that if not I'll, I'm gonna have to buy the blade and the blade is they're kind of pricey they're about 120 bucks I think 140 bucks they're kind of pricey just for like a little piece of metal but okay at least it's off Maybe remove these two pins so this comes apart. Let's try doing that. Let's give this, this some heat too. try taking off the springs it might take some load off of these because that's that's just the last thing we have to do is take the springs off but if we take this out this comes up the springs will come out easy but maybe if we take them off now those might come out easy let's see That's kind of stuck. That's kind of stiff. Well, so that's a that's a good thing that I uh, actually did this because what these spring do is the springs do is when you catch your blade on a curb or something or or a rock or whatever, the plow is supposed to kind of uh, bend or kind of shift out of the way, and that's what the the springs help do, kind of. But if this is not moving freely, that wouldn't be working properly. So I'm kind of glad that I took this apart. Now we can make sure that that operates nice and smooth. Maybe get some WD-40, lubricate those. It's not gonna work anymore. It's too fat, so we have to use something like that from now on. Okay. Well, the good thing is it's moving. How about this guy? I have another one over here. How long do I actually? This extension I might ruin it, but. Always buy a new one. So that works. Let's see. Actually, that's pretty good.
Yeah. There's quite a bit of rust on there. And also, don't know if I bent it or if it was like that, but it's bent a little bit. It's probably me banging it out. Anyway, let's try the other one now. Check it out, that portion was actually green originally. Somebody, paint, somebody painted this yellow, so we'll probably paint this back into green. And the actual blade will be yellow. Nice. Okay. Good enough for now. Here we go, we're gonna clean this one up first and uh, put some primer and some paint on it. Now let's see if we can make a new blade. I got this at Home Depot. It's about the same thickness. So, that's a little bit longer than what I need. So, first thing we'll do is uh, cut it to length. Okay. 
finally, the 516s. Now, what we need to do is make this hole a square hole so that the carriage bolt fits. See, right now it doesn't go all the way through. So, this is a file, a square file that's 5 16 wide. I was hoping to use this to make these holes square. Let's see if we can do that. All the way through. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now, the question is will the carriage bolt fit? the bolt. Uh, not yet. A little more filing. Okay. I think that's gonna that's gonna work. It's just gonna be gonna need uh, just a bit more filing, but let's let's do the rest of them, uh, and then we can make them a little bit bigger after we get them all done. So here we go. I got one done so far. I mean, I've I've made all of them a square with the file, but I have uh, filed down this one down a little bit more so the, the bolt fits, and you can kind of see right now fits perfectly. Okay, so that's how you can make a square hole. I'm gonna finish the rest of them. And I'll come back when I'm done. All right, here it is, finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. Perfectly square for the carriage bolt. Fits nice. And it matches with the holes on the old blade. Nice. Well, Took about an hour or so to uh, drill the holes, punch the squares out with the file, and then use a second file. I bought two files. The one that I made the holes, original holes with, by the time I was done, it was ruined. So I had a second file. I bought two on purpose. And I used that second one to make the holes a little bit bigger. Uh, hour, hour and a half. I don't know if it's worth doing or not. Um, 
I don't know, maybe just buying a blade. Uh, well, certainly easier, but it can be done. Okay. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, on the ends here, I'm just gonna put like a little bit of a radius just at the end, sand them down and uh, I think I'll put some paint on this. Okay, just to show you the radius here, there on the end. And there we go, finished. Just gonna paint it. So you can use a ratchet strap uh, and some rope to split apart the spring and then use uh, sandpaper to kind of clean in between the coils and also on the inside. Here we go, everything is painted, dry, uh, got all the components, nuts and bolts that I need. And uh, this morning, it looks like it's uh, snowing a little bit, so time to put this together and try it out. Got the tractor ready here. The first thing we'll do is uh, put the bushings on the, uh, on the attachment assembly there, which are these guys here. Okay, uh, and then we got the various nuts, bolts, carriage bolts for the blade. There's the uh, there's the finished blade. That's the one we made, painted. Also painted the springs. Uh, pins. And more nuts and bolts, just to kind of put everything together. Okay, let's do it. That's where the bushings go, or bearings, what as they call them, and then the bolt goes right through them. Okay, get some grease. Four, which is one, two, and then uh, these two on the bottom. Okay. 
Okay, just gonna tighten it back up. That's it. Let's see if it goes up and down nicely. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect. Now I have the pin uh, for the rod. So let's uh, put this down. And then, let's see here. Because I had put a bolt there before, I'm just going to remove it and put the pin. Okay. Right right there. Oh. Clip. Oops. Come on. That's it. Right there. Nice. Okay, what's next? bearings there, got the pin, everything else is good. Um, as far as this goes, I'm going to take this guy out. This is what attaches to the plow, just to show you the bushings that are in here. This bushing that goes here is a little bit different than the one that goes here. Um, let me take this. It looks very, very similar to that one. It's just that the whole, the ID and the OD, it's just a little bit different, but these are good. They were here, I have all of them, so that's good. Okay, I think it's time to put the plow together and mount it. See how easy this goes up and down now? It's not binding at all. That's because of those bushings that are here, here, and two on this side. And also these four right there. So it just goes up and down nice and smooth. Okay, how about we start with putting the blade on the edge, on the bottom of the blah. Let's do that. So, we got the carriage bolts for that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Got washers. Another one right here. Oh, 
hands. Maybe get some grease on them too. Right there. through that. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be good. Figure put it from the inside. Perfect. What's next? Next. Springs, I think. Right there. So, let me get some rope. Go. One more. Can attach it to the plow or to the uh, to the bracket there. Probably easier to put this down. Take this off and attach it down here. So let's do that. Grease, this guy here. I put some on the rod. that go uh, um, right there in the shaft. So let's do that. Perfectly right there. Nice. Alright, let's 
let's put uh, let's put it on the tractor. Okay. Washer. Nope. Okay. Tighten that down, and that's it. Last thing, take this, take the uh, tape off of the um, tag here. Perfect. Okay, here we go. It's uh, finished. Quick walk around. Looks perfect. Everything works as it should, and it looks great. Okay, so that's it. This one is done. Works well, looks good. Um, if you want to see a plow of snow, we don't have a lot of snow outside, but we do a little bit. If you want to see a plow, let me know and I'll uh, post a short video of it uh, plowing snow. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.